Just Amazing Artist. I hope you are having an awesome day today. Welcome to a brand new project. As you can see, I have a brand new piece of paper in front of me because today we are starting a project called One Point Perspective Dream Bedrooms. So we're going to be using One Point Perspective to draw our dream bedrooms. And the first thing that we have to do today, week one, is we have to get a sketch down. We have to lay out how we want our bedroom to look. And we're going to do that with a ruler and a pencil. If you don't have a ruler at home, you could use like a straight edge of a book, maybe something that is straight, because we will need to have straight lines to get our perspective right. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, since this is a brand new piece of paper, is anywhere on your paper you can write your name and then we're going to flip it over so now our name is on the back. And uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a rectangle on my paper anywhere you want to. And this is going to represent the back wall of our bedroom. So draw a rectangle, maybe you want it to be a square totally up to you. We don't want it to be too small because we want our picture to take up the entire paper. So I've just drawn a rectangle and it doesn't have to be exactly perfect. Just a rough rectangle back there and somewhere in the middle we're going to draw a little dot. This dot is going to be very helpful for us because this is going to be our one point that tells us where everything else is going to go in our drawing. So we'll get a little bit more into detail about that in a second, but for example, what I need to do now is draw my walls, my floor, and my ceiling. So to do that, I'm gonna take my ruler and I'm going to line up the corner of my rectangle with my vanishing point here. This is called a vanishing point because uh, everything that goes towards it starts to get smaller. So it looks like it's vanishing. Um, so we're gonna line up the corner of our rectangle with the vanishing point. And right where our corner starts, we are going to draw a line all the way to the edge of our paper. Okay, so that is one line. I need to do it for every corner of my rectangle. So line up your ruler with the vanishing point and the corner of your rectangle. Don't draw on top of the rectangle. We're going to start at the corner and draw a line out towards the edge of our paper. All right, got two more corners down here. I have my two walls, I have my ceiling, and I have the floor. And I'm ready to start adding some details. So this is where you can get very creative. We are going to add our bed right in the middle, but any other details that you wanna add for your bedroom, you can. Um, but let's go ahead and start with our bed. And uh, I am going to just draw a rough sketch of a headboard, you know, that thing that's behind your bed that you can rest your head on. And you can design this however you want to. Notice I'm being very light with my pencil because I don't want to draw too hard. If I draw too hard and I make a mistake, we know what happens. It's going to be very hard to erase. So just draw it super light. I'm doing very sketchy motions. And uh, I need to decide where my pillow is going to be. And so I'm going to draw a horizontal line. It's a line that's going straight across draw a horizontal line up here and that's where my pillow can be and I am going to start drawing the sides of our bed and this is where our vanishing point is going to be very handy because after I draw my horizontal line and my bed post just a rough sketch of it I am going to use that line and I'm gonna line up where the line starts with the vanishing point and depending on how big you want your bed, um, you could make it a smaller bed or you could make it a longer bed. And we're gonna draw a line coming out from this horizontal line, meet it up with the vanishing point, and draw a diagonal line like that. And I think that's a good length for my bed, but maybe you want it to come all the way down, then that would be a very long bed. Um, but that's totally up to you. And now I'm gonna do the same on the other side of this horizontal line. I'm going to line up my ruler with the end of the line, the very last part, 
and I'm going to line it up with my vanishing point here. And from that horizontal line, I will draw a diagonal line just like that. And uh, we are going to draw a horizontal line to connect these two diagonal lines we just drew. So connect it just like that. Any extra part of your line you can erase and we actually don't need this line anymore because that's where my bed is. Um, but we can still see that line behind my bed there, but we can erase it on top of the bed. And we want this bed to look 3D. So I'm gonna draw some vertical lines coming down on the bottom of my bed here. Draw another horizontal line to connect it. Think of these as guidelines right now. This is just showing us the perspective of our drawing, okay? So any extra lines. You can go back in now and add some more details to your headboard if you want to. Make it a little bit darker if you're happy with it. And add your blanket. Maybe you want there to be flowers on your blanket. You can design it however you want to. We know that a bed, sometimes maybe your bed is on the floor. You could put your bed on the floor if you wanted to, but usually there are feet on a bed. So you would draw those down here at the bottom. While we're drawing today, we really wanna think of how something might actually look. Like if you wanna put a picture on your wall or if you wanna do a dresser, we need to think about how we would want that to look. So if I think of a bed, it doesn't really look this boxy and hard with the corners and everything. It looks more squishy. So maybe instead of a perfectly horizontal line, I wanna go back in and make it a little bit wavy to make it look more comfortable. So we can draw that on our bed too, try to make it look like this blanket is more full. We could uh, have the blanket draping over the side if you wanted to. And if that's the case, we can actually erase this part. We can erase any lines that we don't need anymore. Okay, so here's my blanket. Yeah, it looks a lot more comfortable just by going in and adding a couple more lines here and there. And there is my bed pretty much done. Now you can add other details if you want to. Totally up to you and how you want your dream bedroom to look. That's my bed for now. I might go in and make some changes later. And maybe I wanna add something on this back wall. Like maybe I have a painting on the back wall. We don't have to use perspective on this back wall. Everything is going to be either vertical or horizontal, okay? And you can use your ruler for this if you want to, but I'm just gonna freehand it. I'm just laying out some elements that I would like in my room. But notice how I didn't line these lines up with my vanishing points because it's on the back wall. Everything on the back wall is not gonna have diagonal lines. Anything outside of the back wall, if you wanna put something on your ceiling, on your walls, and down here, it's going to have that perspective. Everything's gonna be going back towards that vanishing point. All right, I think I wanna put a rug on my floor. I'm gonna take a second and I'm just gonna add any other details that I might want to right now and then I'll be right back to show you a couple more steps. I need to do some more perspective because I would like my floors to be hardwood floors. If you want yours to be hardwood, then we can draw some lines going from the vanishing point back here, starting at the floor, this is a wall, we'll start at the floor with our lines and we can draw some diagonal lines going through and jumping over any other details, like jump over your bed, jump over the rug if you have a rug. You can make these um, planks of wood wider or you could make them skinnier and I think I want mine to be skinnier so I'm gonna line up my ruler with my vanishing point and I'll move my ruler off to the side a little bit go in between you can see your lines by removing your ruler to see what you're working with because the ruler does cover it up a little bit and I'll draw some more lines to make these planks of wood a little bit skinnier you will eventually get to a point where right in the middle your ruler is gonna be exactly vertical with it lined up at the vanishing point see how that's vertical and now my diagonal lines will start to go in the other direction I am making a bit of a mistake though as I'm doing this that I just noticed and that is I'm not drawing it super light so if I want to go back and add any other details on top of this floor it's going to be a little bit hard to erase those lines so even as you're using your ruler make sure that you are being super duper light with your lines. Try not to draw them too dark because then it will be hard to erase. 
All right, that is looking good so far. I got my rug down here. Um, by the way, anything that's rounded, you don't have to have perspective, but if it has edges or corners, like a dresser or a side table, those lines are gonna have to meet up with the vanishing point. So let's do one of those things together. Let's do a dresser over here. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna decide how tall I want my dresser. I think I want it about right here, and this is gonna be the side of my dresser, and I'm gonna draw a horizontal line, okay? This is also how long my dresser is going to be. And I'm gonna use my ruler, just like we did for our bed down here, and I'm gonna line up the end of my line with the vanishing point, and I am gonna start right where I drew that horizontal line, and I'll draw a line. This is a diagonal line now, but it is lining up with my vanishing point. And we'll do the same on this edge of our line. So line it up with the end of our line here, with our vanishing point, and draw a diagonal line. Now, some of your details might go off the edge, like mine are right now, and that's totally fine. I think I'm gonna make this a little bit longer, so then that goes off the edge too. Okay, yours is not gonna look exactly like mine. You're just gonna take these rules that I'm showing you with perspective, and you're gonna add your own details to it. So I have the top of my dresser here. I started with a horizontal line, lined those up with my um, vanishing point here, and drew some lines. So now I have the top of my dresser done. Now we're gonna draw a vertical line coming down, and that's the side of my dresser. And from this bottom part of that line, I'm gonna line it up with my vanishing point again. So our vanishing point is always gonna be coming in handy and draw a line all the way down. Okay, so this is the line for my the bottom of my dresser. I need to erase any other lines I don't need, like these lines that we were using for the wall and the floor. We don't need those anymore. And now I have a 3D uh, rectangle here that is going to be my dresser. We think dressers usually have drawers, don't they? So we're gonna have to do the same thing for our drawers. I'm gonna start with a vertical line and I want my drawers to be about, yeah, that's probably how long I want them to be. And then line up the top of my vertical line with the dot and draw however long you want your drawer to be. I think I want this dresser to have two drawers on it. So I'm gonna make it a little bit shorter and then I'll line up the bottom of this vertical line with the vanishing point and draw a line. And we're gonna connect it with a vertical line. Let me draw my second drawer. Okay, you can also add on the other details that you want to at this stage. Okay, so I am going to do this for the rest of my drawing, whatever I wanna put on my ceiling, on my side walls. Um, just so you guys know, if you wanna add a door, you could add it in the back and then it would just look like a normal door back there. Maybe you wanna put a closet or something. I think I want a closet back here. So I'm just gonna draw a door and anything on the back wall, remember, is just vertical and horizontal. There's no diagonal lines back there. And now maybe I wanna draw a door over here. So I will start with a vertical line, however tall I want my door to be. And I'll bring it all the way down. And then, of course, we need to line up the top of this vertical line with our vanishing point and draw a line out. And then we can draw. We've already got this one down here done, so we don't have to do it to the bottom. And then we'll draw another vertical line. So that's like a skinny door. You could draw it like it's coming open if you want to. Just think of how a door might look if it's opening. Okay, so I am going to speed this up because I know this video is probably long already. But I'm gonna work on this and I'm gonna think of kind of what did I want? What do I want in my room? What's my dream room going to look like? And as I'm doing that, I am always going to be checking my lines, make sure that my diagonal lines are lining up with my vanishing point back here. But I'm gonna go ahead and speed this part up and then I'll be back to show you what mine looks like.
can think of right now, but if I end up thinking of more stuff that I want to add to my drawing later, I can do it next time. So this is what I've done. I try to be creative and think of things that I liked and what I would like to surround myself with in my bedroom. And I really enjoy cow print. I don't know if you can tell by my uh, watch here. I also have a cow print pop socket. So I really like cow print. So I might put cow print on my walls. I think that would be pretty cool. I've always wanted like an opening, a window on my ceiling so that while I'm inside of my bedroom, I can still see the beautiful sky outside. So that's something I would always dream of having in my room. I love plants, so I tried to add some plants here and there. My favorite video game is Animal Crossing, so I put a little Nintendo Switch right here because that's probably what I would spend a lot of my time doing in my bedroom. And I tried to do a TV. Just think of other ideas that you could do. I thought this was fun. I added a mirror to my closet door, and if it's a mirror, you would see a reflection. So what would this mirror see? It would see my cow print wall. So I tried to add that in there. So try to think of those little details that you could add to your bedroom. Uh, using that one point perspective that we've learned about. After you've drawn your entire drawing, you can erase that vanishing point because we don't need it anymore. I hope you guys have a lot of fun learning about and using one point perspective and adding all of your creative, personalized details to your dream bedrooms. I can't wait to see how they turn out. I know they're going to be amazing because you guys are amazing. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.